Hello YouTube. Well, if this uh, video makes it to YouTube, uh, it's uh, Friday night. It's just after uh, 5 o'clock here. And I'm doing my nightly searches for uh, Nissan Leaf deals, the 2018 Nissan Leaf. And I'm occasionally looking at uh, Chevy Bolt deals, but I can never seem to find a, a deal on a Chevy Bolt. But however, I uh, just came across this one on this website. And this is uh, Goodwin Chevrolet in Brunswick, Maine. And they're about a half an hour away from us. And well, let me just switch the camera here for you. So let me see if I can focus here. So yeah, as you can see right here, this one, $39,690, $8,000 off, brings it down to $31,690. Really? That's, yeah, seriously. <laughs> I haven't seen one that low yet. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, I, I might actually give these guys a call and make sure that this is legit, but that's, uh, wow, yeah, let, let me give them a call here. <laughs> All right, so I just got off the phone with uh, Goodwin Chevrolet there in uh, Brunswick, Maine, and uh, that deal's legit. Uh, there is a stipulation, though, however, <laughs> uh, I can't lease it. I can't lease it and get that $8,000 rebate. And the rebate varies between, uh, I think it was like 6500 and 8000 depending on uh, if you finance through them, uh, meaning uh, GM Financial, or if I finance through like my own bank. Um, I know if I go through GM Financial, I'll probably be, it'll be a higher interest rate, and I'll probably do better off if I just go through uh, a bank of my choosing. I haven't come to that decision yet. I, I really would have to run the numbers and find out, you know, for sure, like, what's going to be the better deal, but, um, yeah, it's like, that's, that's crazy, so I think, I think I'm going to have to uh, give this a try, and, uh, and see what kind of uh, numbers I can, it, it, it all boils down to the monthly payment, basically, if, if, if the monthly payment is not, you know, absurdly high, then it's, it's doable, um, another interesting fact to, to point out here, uh, because I'd be buying the vehicle, and not going through the leasing company, I would still qualify for the uh, federal tax credit. So it's, it would be that eight or you know anywhere between the six five to eight thousand plus an additional seventy five or up to seventy five hundred depending on uh, one's taxes. And you know I'm not going to get into too much on my financials uh, here, but uh, that's actually quite a bit of money. Uh, even if you take half of both of that, that's a big savings right there. So. I don't know, I th I'm going to have to take a look at this and see, you know, what kind of deal I can actually strike here, if any. Alright, so here I am. It's the uh, next morning, and I'm getting ready to take my wife's vehicle, the uh, Nissan Rogue, to the Chevy dealership. <laughs> and I've, I've been up all night, I've been running the numbers, and it's looking good. I mean, if I can get the interest rate that I'm expecting that, you know, I should be able to get, um, and not take a hit on that Rogue, then we should be able to strike up a deal. So. I've got the car out there warming up, so I'm getting ready to head out, and uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, so here I go. This very well might be the last time that either my wife or myself drive a car under our name that runs on gas. Wish us luck. <laughs> and before I go too far here, I am going to have to gas up because my wife already drives around like she's in an electric car. She's only got 26 miles here, so I am going to pull in. And I'm not going to put much in. I mean, I don't have far to go. I've got about 25 miles I have to drive, and <laughs> we've got 26 on here, so I think I'll just put, like, $5 in. That way I'm not showing up completely empty, but on the same token, I'm not topping this thing off. <laughs> yeah, let's just put $5 in here and call it good. And that's good enough. <laughs> 495. Two gallons. <laughs> that is the last time we are pumping gas. Fingers crossed. <laughs> there we go. We did it. We are now proud owners of the 2017 Chevy Bolt EV. And now it's lunchtime. So we're at McDonald's. <laughs> Do you like your new car, honey? <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Do you like it, Ben? You like the car? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I 
And there we go. And just like that, we are now uh, proud owners of the Chevrolet Bolt EV. Um, it has been a long day of uh, wheeling and dealing and number crunching, trying to get those numbers to work. But uh, we were able to pull it off. And I must say, I, I am paying pretty much. So I'll get into this in a later video. Uh, not the fine details, but just to let you guys know, because I know a lot of you are probably curious, uh, I'm pretty much paying for this uh, Bolt EV the same that I would pay if I were to lease a uh, Nissan Leaf SV model. So, you know, the, the numbers just, they were in my favor, and in the long run, uh, it's going to cost me about the same if I were to take advantage of the lease deal that Nissan has right now. But again, I'll save that for another video because right now I just I want to see if the two cars will fit in the garage. So I'm gonna go do that. And check this out. How cool is this? I can fit both cars in the garage now. This is awesome. I mean it is a tight fit, but it works. Look at this. <laughs> There's like no space whatsoever. <laughs> in fact, I actually have just a little bit of space over here but not much so I could back that up more if I wanted to but I don't need to and in fact I got closer this time around than I did the first time I did this because I could actually now walk in between here and the first time I did it I, I really couldn't so <laughs> that works we can put both cars now in the garage so when it snows outside I don't have to clear off the car now that is so cool Wow, I can't get over that. They both fit in the garage. That is awesome. So, uh, it, actually, if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm actually trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so if you could click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Um, in the weeks to come, we are definitely going to be uploading some more videos, what it's like to be a two-car, all-electric car family. So, uh, I will definitely be putting up a one-month uh, review on the uh, Bolt EV once we've uh, reached that milestone. But uh, yeah, if just do me a favor and click that subscribe button and uh, we'll keep pumping out the videos for you all to uh, enjoy. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.